Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Dan's Spooky Episodes. Okay, I'm just sticking with this Halloween theme. You know, some videos I'm going to sprinkle some Halloween in it. We're almost there. But no, today's video we're going to look at some 13 offensive Halloween costumes. Honestly, I'm just going to title the video, Where's Halloween Costumes? Because whoever came up with these ideas, you guys are bad people. Very, very bad. I'm just joking, but let's get right into the first costume. Man, so this costume is called Trouser Snake Trauma Costume. Oh man, this one's bad. Like, not gonna lie, like, where do I start? Pause. Okay, like, first of all, does that, does he expect that to, like, charm the ladies? Like, what is that? We're, we're gonna pretend this never happened. This is, this this costume isn't offensive in so many ways. Like, it was kind of like you're trying to go for Aladdin, but then also, like, you don't have any shoes on. So you're telling me you're going to go trick-or-treating with no shoes? And what is that in your hand? What the heck? That's not no flute. Hey, guys, if any of you guys are from one of those countries that play that instrument, let me know, because I have no idea what that instrument is. Man, this is a snake trauma costume which includes a reptile as a replacement for a penis. Like, we needed that description. Like, we could see the picture. We know what it is. <laughs> Alright, next costume. This one's adult giant boom costume. Oh, man. First of all, why would any human being... I was going to say guy, but why would anybody on earth... When I wear a giant boob as a costume. Like, I just don't get it. First of all, this guy right here in the picture has no girlfriend, has no wife. Like, he's probably a virgin. Like, you cannot wear a boob costume. Ever. This should be banned. You know how, like, they have, like, the most ridiculous laws in America? This should be on the list. No wearing giant boob costumes in America. Uh, actually, never, nowhere, in, anywhere in the world. Oh man, the next one is Indian chief costume. Fam, <laughs> where do I start? It's twenty twenty one. Like, I'm not the most wokest person on the world in the world, but like, you gotta woke up. Get it? Okay, I'll stop. But seriously, like, there's so many things wrong. First of all, I really hope this guy actually braided his hair. Please tell me he baited his hair. And I hope he still has that hairstyle today. I don't care when that picture was taken. Like, oh my God. Like, what does he think he's going to Mohegan Sun? Like, there's so many things wrong with this. Like, is he wearing eyeliner? This guy has like a Johnny Depp vibe going on. So he's kind of like, um, what's that girl in um The Wizard of Oz? You know what I mean? I'm going to pick that picture up. Yeah, he has the same hairstyle as Dorothy or the Wendy's girl. And he has eyeliner like Johnny Depp. Like, this is someone who watches way too much movies. Oh, my God. Adult Tro Drooper's costume. Droopers. So, I'm assuming that Drooper means, like, saggy, sag saggy boob? I'm assuming. Let's read it. Can we stop it with the boob shaming, please? This costume is wrong on so many levels. Yep, I was right. It is about saggy boobs. Oh my god. This is this should be very illegal. Like this oh my god. Can you put this guy in um what's that game? Squid game, please? Join Skid Game. And I'll root for him to lose. Oh my god. I don't even know where to start. He's holding like empty shot glasses. His 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 droopers don't even match his skin tone. I mean, the the logo on the shirt, eyes is looking down, like, damn, like, them things are really drooping. Fam, you cannot wear that anywhere in America. You're gonna get assaulted. Like, there's no way he can get up and get away with that. Oh, my God. Let's go with the next one. Adult woman's blue sexy geisha. Is it geisha or geisha? I think it's geisha, right? It is geisha. What's wrong with this? Let's read it to see what's wrong with it. Geishas are one who study... Geish Geishas are women who study art, dancing, and singing in Japan. They shouldn't be a Halloween costume. Why not? 
That's like saying a chef is someone who cooks food. There shouldn't be a Halloween costume. Nah, you can wear that. I mean, it's showing a little bit leg, but honestly, I've seen worse. Like, you can't be allowed to dress as a sexy nurse. Mind you, sexy nurse showing cleavage, but you can't wear a geisha. But maybe it's like cultural appropriation. But let's be honest, folks. Like, the entire Halloween is cultural appropriation. Like, let's not get into cultural appropriation when it comes to holidays. Especially in America. The next one we have is Voodoo Doll Princess Costume. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Like, how is this offensive? I love this costume. First of all, very attractive woman, right? Is she holding a sword? Is either a sword or a Harry Potter wand? I'm not sure. I mean, I like the kind of, like, caveman vibe she's giving. The cave, side, cave woman vibe she's giving off. You know what I mean? Very beautiful. You know, red is very attractive. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. That that gets a pass on my in my book. I don't know. And and it says including West West Central Africa and Caribbean countries. Voodoo is a spiritual religion. Now listen, I'm from Jamaica. I don't know anything about Jamaican voodoo. All right, that's way out of my um book. Let's go uh let's go to the next one. Native American seductress. Is seductress a profession? And how many how much do they get paid? I want to know. This is the shortest sentence yet. Do we really have to go over this again? Again, what is wrong with this costume? This is totally fine in my book. Super attractive. She looks like she belongs in like a, a news reporting station. You know the news reporting stations, they always put like an attractive woman um, there so that guys can pay attention to the news. Like that's going to work. But, you know, I mean... Native American, like, hey, what if she's actually Native American or has, like, some Native American DNA? You never know. I'll let it slide. Like, we can't have Pocahontas voiced by probably not. Well, I don't really know if Pocahontas was voiced for an actual Native American, but I'm pretty sure not everyone in the movie was Native American. So that's cultural appropriation, even though that's a classic movie. Let's go to the next costume. Sexy Shooter Happy Hour costume. Again, what is wrong with this? I love this costume. Putting a bunch of Latin America stereotypes together isn't creative. Wait, how is, is how is Shooter a Latin America stereotype? Someone tell me, maybe I'm just not in the loop. Happy Hour. How is Happy Hour a Latin America stereotype? First of all, she's very she's very attractive. And she's not even they're not even talking about shooting guns. They're talking about shots. Get it? Shots because she's holding a shot glass? Listen, man, if she showed up, like, if this woman showed up to your party, you're not going to be like, get out of my, get out of my house, like, this is offensive. You're going to be like, oh, you bought shot glasses? Let's go, let's turn up. Let's be honest. That, that gets a pass from me. Exotic Jewel of the East costume. Again, with the Aladdin costumes. Like, she belongs, like, she's like the Princess Ariel. Like, I've seen this, Disney, this is like Disney's favorite costume. Because they know that it attracts, it attracts people. They like, they love it. They like it. Sorry, you can't take away the best things from us. Like, come on, this is exotic. Everyone loves exotic stuff. I made a video called "Trying Exotic Fruits." Definitely wa check it out. It's exotic. Exotic just sounds good, even if it's not exotic. Oh my God! Like, how is this offensive? That deserves an applause right there. She's invited to my party. Next, douchebag costume. Now, notice how maybe I'm biased because all the guys' costumes I shit it on, but when it comes to all the women's costumes, I'm like, damn, that, that's how it to me. <laughs> douchebag costume. Oh my god. Can we, do we even have to go over this? You're a douchebag. Sorry. Like, I don't even, you look like a, you look like a, a hot, a hot pepper bottle. Like, I don't even know what you, like, what were you trying to do, bro? You trying to be like a douchebag superhero? Because you succeeded at that. Mischievous gypsy costume. Do I even have to explain what I think? Next. Tampon costume. Do I even have to explain what I think? You are a tampon. 
literally, that's it. Like, literally, and really, like, physical, figure, is it figuratively? I can't even talk. Figuratively, you are a tampon, if that makes any sense, which it doesn't. Ta let's read it, because it should be for Tampons, they're hilarious and so spooky. Not. Now, let's be fair. He could be a ghost. How you know that's a tampon? Because he has a string? What if he's a ghost that just wears one of those hats with strings attached? I don't know. He could be Casper. And you can't judge everybody's... What if he cut it in arts and crafts, in arts and crafts class by himself? Maybe he's just not good at shapes. Don't judge the man. He deserves to keep that costume. I I get a he gives he he'll, I'll give him a pass. Day of the Dead Spanish lady costume. Now again, I don't know how this is offensive. Day of the Dead is a very big national thing. If you ever been to Disney World or Disneyland, whatever it's called, they have a Day of the Dead ride attraction from that movie um, Coco, I believe, or whatever it is. It's nothing offensive with that. It gets a pass, and it's not because it's a woman. It's just because it's a costume that I feel like you can wear now. I, do, I just realized that I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to wear this Day of the Dead season. So maybe like if she wore it at like Christmas. Actually no, she wore it at Halloween. Fam, I've seen mad people wearing that face makeup style on Halloween. She gets a pass from, in my book. Man. Let's see. So that was the 13th one. So they say the 13th one, oh get it, 13th, because 13th associated with like unlucky stuff but okay I don't get it but yeah no that was interesting to me like a lot of those costumes I don't know what was, what was a big fuss like to be honest it made me more excited to see Halloween like I went to I went to Walmart right and I seen the costume section and I'm not gonna lie guys it's looking sad if you want a unique costume like you, you probably don't need my advice but you better go on Amazon or hop on eBay and bet on that or bid on it cause Right now, everything's looking like Harry Potter, Ninja Turtles, like, Batman. Like, every year is the same costumes. Like, can you guys be creative, original? Like, I get it. A lot of kids like Batman. I get it. A lot of girls love to be princesses. But there's so much other stuff that you can do. And I'm not gonna lie, like, when I was a kid, like, for Halloween, what did I go as? I think I, I remember one Halloween where I actually went trick-or-treating. And I think I went as, like, nothing. Like, I, I, I literally didn't dress up. Like, in my neighborhood, dressing up was lame. Especially, like, when you're turning, like, older. And you see all the kids do it. Like, you see them dressing up. And then, as I got older, for some reason, I got more into Halloween. So, like, last year, I dressed up as, um... Last year, I dressed up as Killmonger, which was fun. And, basically, that's it. But, no, like, this year, I have no idea what I'm going as. I'm gonna save that for definitely... Uh, a stream a stream that I can maybe I'll stream live on Halloween who knows but yeah I'm very excited for Halloween this year um, and thanks for joining with me I think this is very entertaining looking at these horrible costumes so called horrible costumes but you guys for joining me again like, like always stay safe have some fun out there well is that good should I tell people to have fun yeah have fun out there stay safe I'll see you in my next video peace